Hello, on this session we're going to learn how to connect layers using Flinto. And this is great for transitions that happen in the same screen. So you're not going to uh, make transitions between screens, but the elements move inside. And this is great for create a choreographed transitions uh, when the UI moves and not the whole screen, like I said, and also great for micro interactions. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have a Flinto file here and here, as you can see, I have a, a set of cards. And then one of these cards uh, has a screen detail and it has a photo and it has a title and it has a, a, a label. And I want to the photo to not just, the card detail not just to appear from the right or from the bottom like a model, but actually this photo be linked to this photo and that way it grows. And also the title to just move in place. So every all the details that are here and over here too, that are connected, that are the same. Just I just want them to uh, move and uh, grow and 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 be in place. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing that I want to do is add a gesture to this whole thing. I'm going to add a gesture here. I'm going to add a tap. I'm going to select uh, the card detail as my target, and I'm going to create a new transition. So now here on the transition designer, I uh, the first thing that I want to do is move the whole screen on top of the, the first screen. This uh, means that the whole, uh, uh, all the transitions are going to happen inside uh, the screen, inside the, uh, the guides, uh, that the whole screen is not moving from the right, for example. So the first thing that I want to do is to start connecting the layers. So for example, here, I have, uh, have the subtitle, which is this one, the title and the image uh, uh, to be connected. So the first thing that I want to do is select them from the layers list and then connect them with this button. I connect them, I'm going to do the same with the title, I connect it, and then also with the subtitle, I connect them. And now, also, the background of the card, I want to connect it, because it starts small and then it grows to the size of the screen. So as you can see, now the starting point of everything, it starts at the same size and in the same position as a card. Let's test this and see how everything is, is just growing and moving into place, into the right place. Uh, the first thing that I want to do also is, uh, as you can see here, the copy is still there. So I want to change the opacity to it to zero in the starting point. And I'm also going to move it, just a small transition and moves from the bottom. And also on the end, I want the cards on the bottom to move away. So I'm going to select those. I'm going to move them outside the screen. That way it looks like the uh, the, uh, the, the initial screen push the other elements outside the screen. It just like grew and, and it pushed them outside. So that was pretty easy, right? So as you can see, um, it's with just connecting layers, you create really smooth transitions and the uh, you let the users uh, know that everything is happening in place and uh, there are not, uh, other screen is not coming from the right or from the bottom. Uh, it, it looks like really smooth. So. Let's save an exit, and also I want to add an exit, a backlink to this photo. So I just tap it and then it goes back. So I'm going to add a gesture, I'm going to add a tap, and I'm going to select the target as a backlink. And that's it. It Let's preview it. I open it, I tap it, and I close it. It's that easy. 